So it's one more best of three now. This is the last one for today. We have Cash starting as the purple orb player. Purple orb player. It's orc for fuck's sake. What? Finally. So Cash on the top spot spawning as the purple orc. And at the bottom part of the map we have War Chief Rich who fought against uh, Sonic and before he did beat uh, who did he beat? He beat I, I, I forgot I'm sorry I have to look it up Ah yeah he beat Checky he beat Checky on the second best of three that we had today so yeah, let's see how good he plays, how well he plays against an orc player. I'm excited about that. I hope you are too. Ready? Enjoy and have fun. Work complete. Work complete. You might think that this is the same thing actually, enjoying and having fun, but it's not. It's really not. If you enjoy something that is not fun, Ready to work. I don't know. Let's let's, uh, let's let's discuss this later. I don't really don't know where to put this. Like uh, maybe I should put it here. No, here. No, clock is too too important. Let's put it here to confuse anyone now. No, I just put it here. And I guess that the picture of the hero will s will be here. Probably. I hope. So. I hope so. No, let's do it like this. Ready to oh, work. It's still not perfect. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. I think this is cool, like now it's kinda close to this. Okay. Go go. Blade Master as a first hero for Cloud9 aka Cash. And on the bottom side we see a demon hunter. We're under attack. And we see a hunter's hall, pretty quick hunter's hall once again by Watchy Fridge. Let's see about that, I love it. Hunters are just so much cooler than archers because knight elves can always be pretty active with them. And Our warriors have engaged like the when they build archer, it's mostly just one archer being put there to close some hole. S their whole purpose is just to fill uh, one fucking hole in the base. Corners of overswings and level 2 for the demon hunter. And on the other side we see claws of attack being found. And he has sold his town portal just as usual. So he's staying on tier 1, like for now. He doesn't have any wood, sure, because of the Huntress Hall, but what is he doing? His opponent is already Your attacking. Building is We're under attack! Your building is complete. So let's see. Attack now. And nothing's happening. Okay, so he's just retreating and building the first Huntress. I was like really confused there for a second. Why would he like delay his tag so much if he didn't even build a Huntress? So yeah, there was no reason for that. He gets, the, the Blade Master gets the Boots of Speed. And the Demon Hunter is trying to kill off the Sporo, but I don't know if it's... Yeah, it's probably a good choice, but let's see if he makes his way out there. It's like really really hard to tell because I think this is hard to get past and this is too. And this is especially hard to get out. And then there's still peons and shit who can block the way. Our warriors have He's engaged trying to kill off the peon <laughs> to get out. He's just replacing the peon. Wow, there's the Huntress. This is awesome. But this is not really, this Research is not finished. working out well for Watchy Bridge, I think. Great job with the burrow there. Wow, this is so close. No, he doesn't get out. He shall not pass. Oh my god. What a nice early game. I love it. It's awesome. Okay. 
26 against 20. Yeah, uh, who cares about supply numbers right now? What's, how awesome was that, man? It's really cool. So his opponent is now on tier two, and he doesn't have uh, the, the the money for a second hero. And why 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 is that? And why doesn't he have? I don't really get it. Why he didn't? Now he does. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have the woods. He doesn't have the woods. Okay. Mm. So he al alre uh, already um, used his TP to get out of there. And he's now fighting the Blade Master, who's still level 1. And he is already level 2. And this is actually the times that the um, off player wants to uh, gain some experience points and yeah, be kinda near the level of the Demon Hunter at least. And there's a Beastmaster as a second hero, so the Knight of Player is able to increase the pressure on his opponent. This is kinda great. But yeah, good building placement and uh, of course Huntresses are pretty weak against Rock Bros. But yeah, I like it. I still like the Huntresses against Raiders and, and stuff, you know, Raiders are... I, I know they, they have Siege damage against Huntresses, so that's good, but they also have uh, normal damage against uh, medium armor, which is also cu quite fine, it's better than Archers, but so... Yeah, let's see if they are... if they the can find a role to play in this game. Engine of Law, so we will see mass riots. And I still remember this um, mind game things like when I still used to play, lots of night elves thought about. Um, oh, nice. Good job. Oh, wow. Really good job now. Um, thought about playing hundreds and then still going for talents because the opponent was, uh, would always assume that you would go for dryads or bears if you Our go um, hundreds. So going for hundreds and then talents used to be a huge mess um, huge mess up causes huge uh, causes his causes the po the opponent to mess up fucking insane. Um yeah. So this is kinda uh, messy great as well. Uh, Both players are just trying to um get creeps from each other. I don't know how to describe this more appropriately. Speed scroll being used, so the last creep goes to the knight of player. And yeah, the orc player caught up in some regards, like he was able to secure himself level 2. And this is of course necessary for him. And what about the no tags left. No, no, no tag Research going on finish. in any of these bases. Just creeping. So the Beastmaster and the Demon Hunter will probably level up real soon. Is and there's a Sentry Ward once again for the Knight of Player, which is good. What is this Raider doing? Ah, it's an illusion. Why is it blue? Wow. So it was just an illusion in case you didn't see it, like it's for some reason it's not blue. Cool. Um, so 50 supply against 24, Orc player being behind a little bit. And the Knight of player... Uh, ...is relying on Huntresses and Dryads. He has 4 Huntresses and 5 Dryads. I think this army is pretty good. Orc player with fewer units, and I guess like it takes quite a lot of time for them to kill these units off. And with abolish magic, spirit link will be dispelled pretty effectively. Ah, oh sorry, I speed it up once again. Torn chieftain now level two as well, but the demon hunter is close to level three. What does he want? Invo potion? No. Heal scroll. So yeah, 
with abolished magic, he can still focus out um, units. And uh, his opponent doesn't have. I think the Torrent Chieftain is a really bad choice now. Um, it should have been a Shadow Hunter to be able to heal up the focused units at least, or also um, put Spiritling on the units that um, get focused, plus where the Spiritling gets dispelled all the time. I know that's really hard, like it's too many, too many drives probably. You can always just dispel it, dispel it, dispel it. So I don't really know how this is going to play out. And look at the supply numbers. We have 48 versus 63. So much better from Hunter Shaped. Nine of Stormwind, so that means some additional armor. That's not too big of a deal. Um, yeah, so Cash is staying under 50 supply once again. But his opponent is already up to 70. I don't really know why he he's uh, so far ahead. Level 3. Like, I think he was, uh, like, obviously. He creeped a lot better, but I guess it's 40 supply more without one bigger fight having um, taken place yet. Yeah. There's one demolisher. Huh? I like that choice, and I like this Kodo Beast as well. Really important additions. Well, let's see what the demolisher. Normally, like the um, demolisher, the, you can uh, just uh, send one one Grievous to it from the side or something and kill it. As a human player, it's huge fun to make uh, some summons invisible and uh, send them into the demolishers during a fight. Like the opponent will be like, "What the fuck?" Uh, just did that, like few weeks ago and worked out so well, it still lost the game. Um, first world problems. So let's see how this works. Good position for the Orc player, I would say, because the Hunters are not in the front yet. Some Dryads died pretty quickly. And yeah, two more, two demolishers are now taking, play, uh, taking part in this fight. Yeah, one raider is left, one more riot died. And there's still one heal scroll for the odd player. Heroes are still okay, like no big uh, damage being dealt to them. 51 versus 56 supply, and wow, the next riot will fall, so there's two, le uh, two few dryads left now for the Nidus player. There's only four left, or five. There's one more, and uh, the Blade Master has some problems. <sighs> and now the Orc player has to run back, it seems. Ooh, Stomp, and the Beast Master has a problem. Beast Master going down. Good job. Good job. The Demon Hunter is in good shape right now. The Blade Master is not. Two Dryads being killed now. Loses a Spirit Walker. Oh, this is intense, but Hunter Shaped has to go back and Cash is in a perfect position at the moment. Like this worked really, really well. I didn't think that would be the case. And now the Demon Hunter surrounded and it will just die, it just fucking died. And the Blade Master, the Blade Master, no! 48 hit points, but it will not die, will not die. Why? Yes, it will. It will die. Oh wow! Just one kill would have uh, would have been enough to reach level five and therefore get some um, hit points back. But yeah, still dies. 
52 against 33 supply, and the Torrent Chieftain is now level 5. And I think what I just saw was he just had the, he, he skilled Wave, Aura, Stomp, and then Aura again right now. I'm, I'm pretty. It's a good game. I'm pretty sure I saw level 1 Aura there a second ago. If you're watching this on YouTube, you could check it. I will. Yeah. Well, whatever. We have. Uh